Hey, what's up? This is Ben from Wad Prep, and today I have a very special guest, Nikki. She is here to be taught how to clean a barbell. Nikki is one of my friends here in Denver, and I made a post on Instagram saying, hey, who wants to come to the video studio today? She reached out, and here she is. So today, we are going to go over the clean. You might have seen some of my other videos where I've taught athletes how to do various skills uh, in the gym and one that was missing distinctly was cleans. So that's what we're gonna cover today. Now, Nikki, really quick for the audience, right? you haven't done any Olympic lifts? No, I have not done any Olympic lifts. Okay, I think the, what you were telling me earlier is like the only time you've done a clean is literally to pick the barbell up to put it back on a rack for like squats, yes, right? Okay, yes. all right, so she's never been formally taught to do a clean. She's never done like a CrossFit class with a bunch of cleans in it. I'm gonna start her from the top down. We're gonna work through a clean progression and hopefully by the end of this video, she'll be cleaning really well. So with that being said, if you stick around to the end of the video, I have a lot more free training I'd love to send you. But before we get started, uh, Nikki, what is your background? Obviously you, it's hard to miss, you are wearing weightlifting shoes. So it's hard for me to convince them that you're a beginner, but what is your background? What have you done athletically or fitness wise? So I'm actually a personal trainer but the majority of lifting that I do is more powerlifting and bodybuilding. I actually did do a couple powerlifting meets back in the day. Uh, but yeah, I've, I'm so excited to learn some Olympic lifting. Awesome, so she does have a background that makes her familiar with the barbell. Uh, but that being said, she still hasn't done a proper clean or gone through a clean progression. So I think she's gonna be a great student. Let's dig into it. Nikki, without any coaching at all, can you demonstrate right here facing this way um, just what is a clean and just show us what you got. All right, it's a great starting point. I loved it. And I'm actually really thankful. There's a lot that we can work on there. There's a lot of mistakes that she made, which is a good thing. I was actually kind of worried she was gonna do a beautiful, perfect clean to start. So with that, let me demonstrate for you what I want it to look like. Did a good job of the barbell is mid shin. And then a clean, specifically we're gonna work on power cleans today. A clean is where I simply stand up the bar and get it to my shoulders, which is pretty much what you did just with a few mistakes mixed in, but that's great, we're gonna fix them. So the first thing that I want is, let's start with our feet. Your feet are going to be directly under your hips, so slightly inside the shoulders. If I told you to jump as high as possible, this is naturally where your feet are gonna go, right? You're not gonna jump as high as possible from here. You're also not gonna jump as high as possible from here, right? You're naturally gonna put your feet into a strong jumping position so I can put as much power as I possibly can into the ground, okay? So that seems like a good spot for you. It's almost always right underneath the hips. Next, you're gonna do exactly what you're doing and we're gonna grip the barbell um, about a thumb's length, maybe slightly more outside the widest part of our hips. So, so take your thumb, I'd say, yeah, about that far outside of your hip, and you could go a little bit wider. That's kind of like a personal preference thing. We are gonna have you hook grip the bar. I know, she's already doesn't like it, that's fine. Um, but for now, with the PVC pipe, all you're gonna do is you're gonna take your thumb and then wrap it with your middle and index finger. That's just gonna help make sure that bar is safely not gonna fall out of your hands. And then from here, just watch a couple times. What I'm gonna have you do is I'm gonna have you dip, okay? And when you dip, I want you to keep your torso vertical. So you can see I'm just kind of bending at the knees and at the hips. I'm not leaning forward or anything like that. I'm just gonna dip. And then when I say stand, you're just gonna stand as aggressively as you can. And you can kind of let those shoulders pop up. So I'm gonna say down, up, and that's all I want. So pretty much all that's happening is I'm standing really aggressively and that momentum kind of carries my shoulders up a little bit. So dip, up, good, dip. Up, one more dip, up, good, okay. So from here, now what I want us to do is we're gonna actually let that barbell start to drift up a little bit more. So what's happening here is I have that slight dip position and then I'm driving, I'm adding basically momentum to the bar. The bar starting to float up and now all that's gonna happen is I'm gonna let my elbows bend. Okay, so slow motion, it looks like this, dip, up, and I stand, shrug, high pull, okay? And the bar's coming maybe a little bit above my belly button, so about right here. It's coming to about here, and then I'm gonna reset. Full speed, it looks like this. Dip, go, okay, and that's all that's happening. So 
you're standing, shrugging, and then letting that bar drift close to your body to about right here. Okay, nice and quick. Ready, dip, go. Good, dip, go. Good, dip, go. If she was doing what a lot of people do, which is this, dip and up, where the bar comes really far away from the body, when the barbell stays close to our body, uh, it allows us to lift more weight. The farther the barbell drifts away from us, the harder it is to lift. Here's an example. If I was holding, let's say a five pound dumbbell and you held it right here, right? You could probably hold that for a while. If I tell you to go like that, it's gonna be very tiring, right? It's just leverage. Um, so the closer you can keep it to your center mass, the stronger you're gonna be. That's why we wanna keep the barbell nice and close to our body. All right, so the next step, here's what we're gonna do is I'm gonna have you actually, let's, let's actually get the barbell to your shoulders. This is just a hang clean, hang muscle clean. So I'm gonna say dip. Okay, you've dipped down a little bit. And then when I say up, slow motion, it's gonna look like this. You're gonna stand, shrug, high pull, and then I want you to catch it on your shoulders. Full speed, it looks like this. So dip, go. Okay, and all that's happening is I'm driving into the PVC pipe, shrug, high pull, bars coming close to my body, and then all that's happening is I'm catching it in that front rack position. Now let's add it all together, and basically you're taking it from this position in the dip to the finished front rack position. Ready, down, and go. Good, excellent. Down, go. Good. It's very easy because the barbell's light, or the PVC's light. Ready, go. Good, and then let's do one more. So this time, I don't want you to hit this PVC pipe. Ready, go. Ready, down, go. Excellent, that was good. Do one more, down, go. Sweet. So, one thing, she did it a couple times, and you might not have been able to see it because of the angle, but she did a couple times where she would dip and then immediately start to pull the bar up. So it was kind of staying farther away from her body. As soon as I added this blockage, as soon as I said, all right, don't hit the PVC pipe, she kept the bar really close to her body, which is good. Again, if I slow it down, it looks like this. I'm driving through the legs, 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 and only once my legs are done and my sh I get that shrug, that's when my elbows start to bend. So let's do one more just to grease the groove. So remember feet, maybe feet just slightly wider. Good. And go. Yeah, sweet, perfect, beautiful. All right, so from there, I'm gonna start moving her down. So now we're actually gonna work on dropping under the bar. So once the weight gets heavy, we can't be expected to lift the bar all the way up to the shoulders. Instead, what's gonna happen is as that bar is coming up, you're going to need to drop underneath of it to catch it in that partial front squat position, right? Because think about it, the shorter I have to pull the bar up, uh, the more weight I'll be able to lift. If, I, if every time I did a clean, I had to lift the bar all the way up to my shoulders, I wouldn't clean very much weight. But if I only lift the bar to like here, and then I can drop under it and catch it into a squat, I can lift a lot more weight, right? Does that make sense? Yeah. So what we're gonna do here now is we're gonna actually start to add in a little bit of a drop underneath the bar. So I'm gonna tell you to dip. And then when I say go, I want you to jump. So we're actually gonna like jump the bar up a little bit and you're just gonna land in a partial front squat position. We'll talk about some of the intricacies a little bit later. This time I actually want you to jump. So I do want you to leave your feet so that I can hear a like jump and land. So I want you to jump a little bit and land. That's gonna make sure we're getting that full hip extension. Ready, down and go. Good, oh, what did you forget? Good job. It's all right, it's hard. There's lots, a lot of stuff going on, that's fine. Think about. That's fine, ready, go. There you go, let's do that one more time. Down, go. Nice, I heard it again. Let's do it one more time. So this time I'm gonna put the PVC pipe. Ready, go. There you go, not bad, not bad at all. I'm hearing the jump and land. She's actually getting that full hip extension. It's looking good for this. Like there's a couple little tiny things we could work on, but for this athlete, I'm gonna continue working my way down the chain so that she eventually learns how to pull from the floor. And then what's cool is that once we actually start to add a little bit of weight, even if it's just an empty barbell, all, all sorts of timing issues or a lot of timing issues and a lot of like little inconsistencies go away because once you add weight, 
all of a sudden you have to become efficient at moving that weight. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna start to move the bar down a little bit further. So rather than just taking the bar to maybe here, now we're actually gonna start taking the bar down. Um, ideally the full power clean position or full clean position, the bar starts mid shin. When there's plates in the bar, that's where it sits. But for now, we're just gonna work to just above the knees, okay? So I'm just gonna slowly work you down deeper and deeper and deeper uh, into that setup position. Okay, so when I say down, this time, rather than just bending at the knees and the hips, you're gonna bend, and then you're gonna lean forward slightly. And when you do that, you should actually feel your hamstrings loading up a lot like a deadlift, okay? So down, and then hinge forward. Yeah, and do you feel that in the back of your legs? Or you feel that tension, okay, cool. So from here, all I want you to do when I say go is the same exact thing. You're gonna stand all the way up, jump and land with that barbell in a partial squat. Ready, go. Very good. That was still really good, yeah. right? You still did all the pieces except for the little bit of a jump. Ready, go. Yeah, there you go, not bad. Let's do one more. Ready, go. Nice, good. And obviously squatting mobility is not a problem for her. Like that was great. You got, like you're already getting deeper and deeper and deeper, which is gonna happen naturally as we start to add weight on the bar. Awesome work, great. So with an athlete who's moving as well as this, obviously I'm being, you know, in a class, I'm gonna move a little bit quicker. And with a one-on-one -on -one session like this, I'll be kind of nitpicky. She's doing an amazing job. I feel confident where now we can start to move and actually move the barbell from mid shin or the bottom position. So here's what I wanna practice. First, from this position, we're gonna lower ourselves down just kind of by sitting down. The bar is gonna be just off the shins. I'm in a strong deadlifting position, except with the clean, I like to be a little bit more squatty, right? It's not quite hips quite as high. And then from here, what we're gonna practice is I just wanna do a few reps not with a full clean. I just wanna do a few reps of you just standing up aggressively. So when I say up, you're just gonna go up. Okay, and that's it. You're just basically, you're almost getting to the jump. You're just getting on your toes. So again, up. Ready, down. Good, feel that tension looking pretty good. Up. Good, down. What'd you do? You bent your elbows, right? Yeah, it's good. I mean, the bar wants to float up. Ready, go. There you go, nice. One more, ready, go. There you go, that was the best one. Let's do that one more time just to practice. Ready, go. Good, okay, sweet. So, especially because we've been really practicing this clean, right, and getting the bar to your shoulders, I can tell you want to do it. Now let's add it all together. So we've demonstrated that you can stand up and get that full hip extension. Obviously we know that from here, to here you're good because you did a bunch of reps like that. So now we're gonna put those two pieces together. So you're gonna stand the bar up. And then remember, pretty much once you're here, you've already practiced it a lot. And that's full hip extension, catch in a power clean position. All right, so let's try putting it all together just whenever you're ready. I'm not even gonna say when to go, just whenever you feel good. Good, not bad. Let's do a couple more. Good. Now, one thing I will say is pretty much as soon as the bar gets to your knees, you're like pulling it straight up and to your shoulders. So you're actually missing where most of the power comes from. Instead, what we want is I want you to keep that bar, and for the sake of the PVC, PVC pipe, keep the bar dragging against your body all the way until it gets to your hips. Okay, that bar really shouldn't leave your body until it gets to the hips. Okay, so stand up all the way with the bar. It should actually like slide, just look how pale those are. It should slide on your quads until it gets to your hips and then you get that full hip extension, okay? So let's try it again, just be patient whenever you're ready. There you go. It stayed close, it was a little jerky but it stayed very close and that was great. Whenever you're ready. There you go, good. Try it again, and then let's say if you were pushing that barbell out a little bit, again, I like to come in with this, this simple cue for any athlete is like, give them a little bit of an obstacle. Just having this PVC pipe there will make it so that she doesn't want to swing it out in front of her whenever you're ready. 
Oh yeah, that was beautiful. That was the best one yet. Let's do, whenever someone does it really, really nicely, I always try to get them to do one or two more to grease the groove, to really, and, you know, really show, hey, this is how it's done. So let's try to do one just like that. There you go, excellent, excellent, excellent. And relax, perfect. So Nikki has successfully, with the PVC pipe, done what I would say are, are very solid power cleans. All right, so we've worked the power clean with the PVC pipe. Now it's the moment of truth. Let's add a little bit of weight. So we're gonna give you this bar. Unfortunately, I do not have a 15 kilo bar. So this is kind of like a full size 20 kilo bar, but that's right, you're gonna move it great. Remember all the things we learned, get that hook grip, hinge at the hips, lean forward, feel that tension in your hamstrings and let that bar come all the way to the mid shin. And then whenever you're ready, clean it to your shoulders. There you go, great, you did it, right? The, the bar got to where it needed to go. There's obviously a few things that we can work on in there. A couple things. If you notice when she's holding the barbell, when she gets it to her shoulders, she still has the hook grip, which is okay. It's just gonna maybe hurt the mobility, but she's basically death gripping the bar and holding it like this, which I'm imagining it's probably feeling pretty heavy for you, right? You can see the bar's not resting on the shoulders. So what I wanna teach her now is where to actually receive the bar. So when you catch a clean, you should actually have almost all of the weight on your shoulders. So much so that you should be able to do that. You should be able to take your hands off of it and the bar stays on your shoulders. So let's try that out really quick. Yes, see how you've, you've rolled the bar back into your fingers? Okay, it maybe puts a little bit of pressure in your neck, but it's not too bad. And then what happens is that with your elbows up, it creates a shelf. If your shoulders drop, what's gonna happen? That bar rolls forward, it puts pressure on your wrist, it feels terrible. But when your elbows are up, it creates a nice shelf. And then if you can for me, just take your hands off of them and go like that. Look at that, right? And you can do it because you've created that strong shelf with your shoulders. It's not choking you, it's just like basically nestled right into your neck. Awesome. The goal is to just pull the bar high enough or dip low enough to where the bar only comes to shoulder height. It shouldn't ever come above your collarbone, really, or much above it, whenever you're ready. There you go, good. And I can see it's right in that front rack position. Excellent. Let's try that one more time. There you go. Good. So what happens is she uses her legs to about right here, and then as soon as she gets to her knees, you're pretty much only using your arms and the bar's not sliding on your thighs like we want, okay? Very common for people when we're pulling from the ground. So what I want her, her to practice now is rather than working from the ground, we're gonna go back to working from the hang. So from the hang position, I'm gonna have you start like this. I'm gonna say down, 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 down. And you're gonna be just above the knees. And now we're gonna practice cleaning from here. So when, when you, whenever you're ready, you're going to jump the barbell to your shoulders. And you'll notice what's gonna happen is it's allow, it, going from just above the knees is going to allow you to be a little bit more patient and you'll be able to actually keep that bar close and use your hips to finish the clean. Rather than here, you're basically like standing halfway, arms, okay? But if we can teach you from here how to stay patient, get the bar to your hips, and then clean it, then we'll be able to put it all together, okay? So let's try it, remember all the fundamentals. Your feet width, your grip width, you got your hook grip. Now from here, I just want you to bend your knees and hips ever so slightly. Lean forward to feel that tension, get the bar just above your knee, a little bit lower, a little bit lower, a little bit lower, and then from here, whenever you're ready, clean. Oh yeah, she did, that was perfect. You didn't miss your hips there, right? That bar came nice and close, I could see you got full hip extension. It probably felt pretty easy, right? Let's try a couple more of those. Oh yeah, good. So one more time, how'd that feel? Pretty good? good yeah. yeah, look good. There you go. Oh yeah, great. Okay, so bring it down. This time, let's do the same exact thing, except all I want you to do is be patient from the ground. Okay, so go down all the way. I want you to basically stand up, slowly get to the exact same position you were just in, and then finish the clean. So it's like slow, slow, slow. So up, go. Yep, so slowly up, go. There you go, not bad. All right, so let's try it again. OK, 
Because, man, when you're going just above the knees, it looks fantastic. And I can see how easy the bar is moving. So now we just want to combine it all together. Whenever you're ready, so sub, go. All right. A little hitchy. It's fine. Knee up, go. And I think you can probably even go a little bit sooner. Basically, it's like once that bar gets to here, right, you should feel it. Once it passes over the knees, that's when you get that hip extension. Just do it on your own. Ooh, there you go. Wow, that was fast. But that was very good. There you go, excellent. Do one more. Oh yeah, beautiful. That was fantastic, bravo. Excellent, excellent, excellent. So, you can see there, we, we saw an error or two. I gave her a couple quick cues, like for the first one was she was holding onto the barbell and not letting it sit on that front rack shelf. I showed her a cue, made her feel what it was like to actually catch the bar. She hasn't made that mistake since, and now it's resting really, really well on that front rack shelf. Next, she was missing getting the bar to her pockets, right? She was missing actually getting the bar to her hips to get that full hip extension. Instead, she was basically pulling straight up from the knees. So what I did was rather than work from the ground, I just said, hey, let's work from the knees again. We practice, practice, practice. You, you got it. And then once we got to the ground, after just a couple practice reps, boom, now it's nice and smooth. So with that, I think that is a great potential way to end the video, except we gotta end with a little bit of plates on it. So just to try it out, let's add, we're gonna add tens to each side, and I'm gonna let you try to do your first clean with plates on it to see how it feels. If it doesn't look great, that's totally fine. I think we've made a lot of progress so far, okay? Just think, think the fundamentals, get your hook grip, Get your good setup position, and then whenever you're ready. Oh yeah, woo, let's do that again. That looked really good. And remember, you can jump, right? So, yeah, so you, you are super flexible, so like for you doing a narrow grip or a narrow stance front squat is fine, but just to help remember to get that full hip extension, that jump and land is really, is really helpful. There you go, nice. All right, one more, except this time I'm gonna make you jump. Just jump, just think, just jump the barbell up. Just a little bit of foot movement. There you go, excellent, and relax. So you can see, as soon as I made her jump, she pulled the bar like up to here, right? Um, and that's what you have to be careful at. Once, when you have an athlete and you give them uh, a little bit of advice that's gonna make them more powerful, sometimes the barbell will surprise them and it's gonna pull way higher than they expected, right? So that one, you pulled it way higher than all the other times because you got more power from your legs. So with that, with this athlete, I would be more comfortable adding a little bit more weight because what's cool is that as you add weight to the clean or the snatch, as long as their movement patterns are pretty solid, all that's gonna happen is they're, they're going to have to move more efficiently or they will fail. And that's totally fine either way. Like you won't be able to over pull the barbell as it gets heavier. Instead, you're gonna catch it perfectly on your shoulders. Um, overall, I think you've done an outstanding job. I hope that everyone who watched got something out of this video. We fixed a couple really common mistakes that people make. She did a great job implementing the hook grip right away. She was very coachable. And for that, we thank Nikki in the comments. I would love to know your feedback in the comments below. Let me know what is one thing that you learned from this video or what's maybe something that I missed. If you're like, hey Ben, you totally forgot to do X, Y, Z with Nikki. Let me know, I'm a big boy, I can take the criticism. Um, just be nice to Nikki because she came here and volunteered her time completely on a random snowy day to come get coached by me and I really appreciate that. Um, so if you want to get some more free training, as promised, go to wadprep.com. If you go there, you're gonna find a drop down menu where you can pick movements that I will send you free training about. So if you wanna learn more about the Olympic lifts, like the clean, like the jerk, like the snatch, you can go select that from the drop down, enter your name and email, and I'm gonna send you a bunch of free training. Thumbs up if you like the video, thumbs down if you think I'm a terrible coach, that's fine, I'll, I'll accept it. I'm not an Olympic weightlifting coach, but I have coached a lot of people with a barbell and I've gotten them to move the bar safely and effectively for years and years and years. So I've just, I taught her what I know, what little I know. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in next week's video. Peace. Do, do I wanna say that, do I wanna say that? Next, I mean, Jake, I mean, Jake has been on it.
you want me to be like, her boyfriend's been on here. I'd be like, nah, we won't even, we won't even say that. <clears throat> here we go, starting again. Good start, Ben.